What's going on guys, welcome to the video. Now I haven't done a video about Ricky Gervais and his Golden Globe speech that absolutely annihilated the woke liberal Hollywood elite. Simply because everyone's been doing it and as we see with Sargon of Akkad's video yesterday on his Akkad Daily channel, it was instantly copyright claimed by the butthurt company who owns it. But what we are going to look at today is an article from a salty independent journalist that was not happy with Ricky Gervais's whole routine and especially his statement regarding celebrities and their political views or or, more to the point, their attempts to plant them on us, like we care, or they're someone we should actually listen to. So the Independence article headlines, Ricky Gervais cheapened the Golden Globes. But worse, he overshadowed vital political statements. No, he didn't. If there is a place for smutty humour, it's at Friday night work drinks after one too many not on the stage that birthed the hashtag MeToo movement. And just on that little bit there, you know this article by Joe Merch is going to be a shit show that we can salt mine. Which is why I thought I would do a video on it. It continues, Ricky Gervais's performance at last night's, which was the day before yesterday's Golden Globes, was enough to make Gene Kelly turn in his grave. Once upon a time, Hollywood was synonymous with elegance and class. But Gervais's tirade of nasty and smutty jokes proved that tabloid culture has leaked its way into even the highest tier of entertainment. Now that is something special, calling Hollywood the highest tier of entertainment. Call me a prude, but a joke about Judy Dench licking her ass hardly screams high society. Well, let me tell you something there. You got that wrong. Ricky Gervais has said the bit they beeped out was her licking her minge, not her ass, you idiot. And as you said yourself in that little whiny sentence, it was a joke, you idiot. If there's a place for cheap humour, it's at Friday night work drinks after one too many. An episode of South Park, or in a best man's risque speech. It's certainly not on the stage that birthed the hashtag MeToo movement. One that should respect its power for mass influence. You mean one that should respect its power for believe what a woman says, regardless of whether there's evidence to back it up. No, I'm sorry, that's not how the world works. And I can only imagine the reason why him saying about political statements has got you so worked up. The awards were certainly not free from activism. Powerful speeches were given by actors, including Jennifer Aniston on climate change, Joaquin Phoenix on veganism, Michelle Williams on abortion rights, and Patricia Arquette on the conflict between Iran and the US but any meaningful message is dampened when the man at the helm is making schoolboy jokes about paedophiles. No, any meaningful message that you might be trying to portray is dampened by the fact that no one listens to celebrities. They watch them for whatever it is that they're good at that made them a celebrity. They don't want their political opinions or their social activism forced upon them. Let me tell you something, even a celebrity that I respected the utmost is still never going to change my opinions on things that I know as fact, much like we see in the election campaign with Hugh Grant, and his ability to ensure that anyone he campaigned with lost, and lost by a distance. So no, it doesn't matter what meaningful message you're trying to portray, no one is going to be listening to you. And his schoolboy jokes about paedophiles were funny, and also probably true. The article continues, describing his Netflix show Afterlife, Gervais declared it's a show about a man who wants to kill himself. Spoiler alert, season 2 is on the way. So in the end, he obviously didn't kill himself, just like Jeffrey Epstein. <laughs> when a joke about Greta Thunberg, you know nothing about the real world, most of you spent less time in school than Greta Thunberg features in the same broadcast as heartfelt pleas about climate change, you can't help but feel confused about the message Hollywood is trying to send. Well, I don't know about you, but last time I checked, Ricky Gervais was not Hollywood, and he was booked to perform there like he has been four times previously. This was the fifth time, so they obviously don't mind what he says. And by the looks of what I've seen from it, most of the audience did enjoy it. There was a few prudes there who got a bit salty, but who gives a fuck about what they think anyway? Which is exactly what Ricky was trying to say. Don't give us your political opinion, because you don't know the real world, and we just don't care. Gervais joked about actors trying to seem woke. You say you're woke, but the companies you work for, Apple, Amazon, Disney, if ISIS started a streaming service, you'd call your agent, wouldn't you? If you do win an award tonight, don't use it as a platform to make a political speech. But at least they're trying to use their platform for good, and this shouldn't be taken lightly. 
No, they're not trying to use their platform for good. They're trying to use their platform to push their own agendas or the agendas of those around them. They aren't necessarily good. They're just what you think is good. That doesn't mean it's unilaterally good for everyone, does it, arsehole? And this person who wrote this article just seems like a butthurt shit weasel that cannot take it that Ricky Gervais absolutely trashed the liberal elite in Hollywood. And of course, as we see in that sentence there, the woke culture. Last night, Gervais really did come across as an idiotic clapping monkey, grabbing your attention, but for what, you're not really sure. No, that wasn't grabbing the attention of anyone in that room, that was a shout out to the rest of the world. The people who agree with him, that think all of these celebrities and the woke idiots like the imbecile who wrote this piece are more like idiotic clapping monkeys than Ricky Gervais. He did not come across like that to the people who he was performing for. He was there to mug off the Hollywood elite and he did it perfectly. It was great fun and a lot of them actually enjoyed themselves. I distinctly remember Leonardo DiCaprio and Brad Pitt sitting there laughing their arse off. And oh the nastiness, it made Tom Hanks that classic and humble reminder of old Hollywood turn in disgust, birthing the first real meme of 2020, one that can be used to respond to Pierce Morgan's tweets for the rest of the year. And yes, Tom Wanks looked like a bulldog chewing a wasp. The memes are going to be epic. Speaking about Once Upon a Time in Hollywood's three-hour runtime, Gervais joked, Leonardo DiCaprio attended the premiere, and by the end of it, his date was too old for him. Even Prince Andrew was like, come on, Leo, mate, you're nearly 50-something. <laughs> From calling James Corden a fat pussy to implying that Joe Pesky looked like Baby Yoda, Gervais acted like a school bully, trying to win favour by bringing everyone down around him. We're pretty sure that behind that meme, Tom Hanks is thinking, is this really what entertainment has come to? And I definitely agree. And yes, that is what entertainment has come to. And the way that you and Tom Hanks have reacted to it is exactly why Ricky Gervais did it, you idiot. You're literally playing up to what he is talking about in his jokes and openly taking the piss out of. And this pathetic, salty article which you've given us here just goes to show that even more. Make the headlines about the fashion, the acting, the fact that for the first time ever, an Asian American actress won the Best Actress Award. No, and you see, that is the problem and what Ricky Gervais was actually saying. All you seem to care about is the fact that an Asian American actress won the Best Actress Award, rather than that her as a person won the award for being good at what she does. People like you always have to make it about her race, rather than about how good she did in the role that won her this award. I want to look up to anything that has at least a little craftsmanship to it, so that Hollywood feels above me with its otherworldly talent. What are you on about? This person talks some real shit and is just literally salty as fuck. I want to be shocked by progress, not scandal. Provocative words are easy and cheap, and being an actor, a comedian, a director, a writer, or any job affiliated with the industry should be neither. Gervais fuck it attitude, announcing several times that he didn't care what anyone thought of him, should be aspirational of Big Brother contestants, not A-list comedians. No, he is paid to come in there and roast the room. That is what he did. You are just butthurt about that for some reason I don't know, much like Tom Wanks was. But I expect even Tom is not as salty as you are. The salt that's coming out of you from this article is incredible. Maybe you're just a bit jealous you wasn't invited. Perhaps that's what it is. You guys will have to let me know down in the comments. Presenting Gervais like a teenager acting up to shock his parents is a step in the totally wrong direction. It sends out the message that Hollywood is a place with no morals or respect. <laughs> I think it's pretty obvious to the world that Hollywood has no morals and deserves no respect. It's only you that thinks it's above everything else like some sort of god. This person's incredible. You know what, I'm not even gonna bother reading the rest of it, it's just a load of horseshit. And whoever wrote this is just salty as fuck. Joe Merch, I even forgot who it was. Yet another salty liberal media hag who can't take a joke and is butthurt 
that Ricky Gervais was taking the piss out of celebrities and their political statements. Now I get that most people are probably not that interested in it, but after reading through this article, I had to cover it, because it's an absolute shit show, as you would expect, and obviously mentions the Me Too movement in the subheading. An absolute joke. But if by some miracle you have missed the Ricky Gervais video of him shitting on Hollywood, I do suggest you go and check it out. I can't show it here, because they'll strike the video down. Even though it would be fair use. But on that note guys, I am going to end the video there. I want to thank our PayPal, Patreon, Subscribestar and YouTube members for supporting the channel, along with everyone who watches my videos. I'm also going to be doing some gaming live streams on my second channel that I will link down in the comments and pin as a comment for you, so if you want to support me over there, it will be much appreciated. I will upload videos about gaming or related to gaming on there when I've got time outside of this channel, and I will also do live streams on there where I'm playing a game and just chatting with you guys. It can be about politics, it could be about whatever you want. It'll just be general chat as I'm playing the game and relaxing because that is something I like to do in my spare time, so I can live stream it and chat to you guys at the same time, killing two birds with one stone. So, like I said, subscribe to that and hit the notification bell on there if you're interested. Now, as always, remember to let me know what you guys think down in the comments section below. Leave a like, subscribe with the notification bell, and share this video as it helps the channel a lot, and I'll see you all in the next one. And Corbin neutral by Christmas. There is a pattern consistent throughout history of oppressed people turning on the oppressors. Slaves against their owners, the peasantry against the feudal barons, colonies, Mr. Verhofstadt, against their empires. And that is why Britain is leaving. And it doesn't matter which language you use, we are going and we are glad to be going. We're off. Ramon! Ramon!